Okay, so question number 14, part A. Okay, we're asked to prove that the sum of the first n terms of a geometric series which has a first term of A and a common ratio of R is given by this formula. Okay. So, what we have to do here is the following. First of all, you think about the sum of the first n terms. Now, the first term is A. For a geometric series, you keep multiplying by the common ratio. So, it's going to be A times R. And then it's going to be A times R times R, which is A times R squared. And so on. Continue that same pattern. And the very last term will be A to the power of R, A R to the power of N minus 1. And the one before that will be A R to the power of N minus 2. And the one before that will be A R N to the power of minus 2. Three, uh, a to the power a r to the power of n minus three. So those are all the terms of the sequence in terms of a and r. Of course, we didn't write down the ones in the middle. Okay, so that's like gives you the sum of all the terms. Now, in order for us to find the um, an expression for the sum of the first n terms, okay, in this form, what we can do is we can take this equation. We can call it equation one, and we can multiply equation one by by, um, we can multiply equation 1 by r. So we have r times s to the power of n equals, now you get a r in this position, plus a r squared, plus a r cubed, plus, and you'll have here a r to the power of n minus 2, plus a r to the power of n minus 1, plus a r to the power of n. Because if you multiply a r to the power of n minus 1 by r, you have to add 1 to the power. See? It's these. So basically now, what you'll see is you have, let's call this line 2. In line 1 and line 2, you've got all the terms the same. a r, a r squared, a r, I suppose to say cubed here, a r cubed, a r to the power of 4, a r to the power of n minus 3, a r to the power of n minus 2, a r to the power of n minus 1. The only two terms that, that the only term in the line 1 that doesn't exist in line 2 is A. And the only term in line 2 that doesn't exist in line 1 is A r to the power of n. Okay? So, um, that's what we have to use now. So, if, we're, if I take equation 1 and subtract from it equation 2, on this side of the equation I'll have S n minus r times S n. And on this side of the equation, all of these terms will cancel out when you subtract, except for the a, and then you'll have minus a r to the power of n, because it's on the second line that's being subtracted. Okay, now what we can do is we can say, all right, let's take out the common factor from this side, that's s n. s n 1 minus r. And the common factor from this side, which is a. And you've got 1 minus r to the power of n. And then finally, we just divide both sides by 1 minus r. So we have Sn is equal to 1 a times 1 minus r to the power of n over 1 minus r. Okay, and that's part A done. I'll do part B on the separate video.